We're here at Can Lions 2015, and I'm standing here with Jeremy Bassett, who is head of Unilever's Foundry. Uh, Jeremy, thanks for taking the time to talk with me today. Tell me a little bit about what Unilever Foundry exactly is. So the Unilever Foundry is our platform to connect and engage with startups. What we've realized is that startups are pioneering the future of marketing, and as the world's second biggest advertiser, we want to be connecting with them to help startups to scale up so that together we can pioneer the future. And now the Unilever Foundry is essentially getting, pairing tech startups with some of your brands. And today at uh, the Lions Innovation Area, we went to see the Unilever Foundry 50, yeah. which were sort of 50 star startups that you wanted to showcase and bring here and give a platform to get their voices heard. Tell me a, a little bit more about that. How's it been going? Yeah, really good. So, you know, as the second biggest advertiser, we. We think we've got a, a res an opportunity to engage with startups, but also a responsibility to get the industry to engage. And that's why we're here today, because what we want to do is, you know, take the world's biggest conference that brings the industry together and infuse that with the guys that are pioneering the future of the industry. And so what we're doing is we're providing an opportunity for industry leaders to come and speed date with startups, to listen to startups pitch, to ne network with them. And what we're hoping, and in fact what we're seeing, is that startups are getting the opportunity to, uh, to, to network, but also to sign deals that I'd never get if they were you know, back, in their, back in their office. So that's what the Foundry 50 is all about. That's great. Now, at the risk of getting political here, uh, I don't want to put you on the spot, but were there any, were there any standouts for you? Were there any particular um, startups or that, that were paired with brands that got you excited about, about what's in the future? You know, it, what's been exciting is the way the Foundry has just ignited experimentation across the business. So in the last 12 months, we've done 60 different pilots, in fact, 65 different pilots with 65 different companies, and many of those were already scaling up. But to give you a tangible example, uh, one of the companies that we've worked with is uh, Digital Genius, and what they were doing is they came to us, we, we had the brief of how do we answer the question of what's for dinner tonight on the feature phone? Because in many of the markets that we operate, they're media dark spaces. So you can't engage through a smartphone or through apps or necessarily through websites. So how do you engage through the feature phone? And what they had is artificial, an artificial intelligence system that enables us to have a personal dialogue with consumers, but on a, you know, many, uh, with, with many consumers at the one time. Uh, so what happens in that instance is consumers text in to Chef Wendy, uh, the ingredients that they've got in their fridge. And then Chef Wendy will text back recipe ideas that they could cook with those ingredients. And they contain you know, products that are from our Nor brand, which is the brand that's sponsoring, which basically is delivering Chef Wendy as a service to these consumers. And so what it enables us to do is understand who these consumers are, uh, what their eating habits are like, and it enables us to have a meaningful dialogue with those people at the right point of day when they're looking at the, uh, answering the question of what's for dinner. Great. Well, Jeremy, it's going to be exciting to be here next year and see sort of how far some of these startups have come along, which are still around, which are thriving. So thanks so much for your time and enjoy the rest of your week. Great. Thanks, Will.